I said, what drugs did you do? And he tells me, meth. Hello girls and gays, it is LB Twink and oh, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you guys are honestly always requesting from me story times. And there's this thing with me here and there, I remember a story. But with that being said, stories literally will just pop up in my head. And when they do, I feel like that's when the time is right. And that's when I like to like sit down in front of the camera and actually film them. The story is gonna be, uh, what do I even title this video? This is basically the story of like, um, how I ended up dating a crackhead and how much of a hot mess the whole entire relationship was if you guys don't know already my last address that my roommate and I lived at got leaked online and so for privacy concerns we've been moving for the past couple days I've been moving I have not really I wanted to vlog it but it was really hard we ended up getting a different floor plan than we thought we were so we're gonna have to move again next month so I am sorry that I haven't been posting as much as I wanted to I've been getting hit with a lot of obstacles in life if you know what I mean before we get into the video make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also make sure you go subscribe down below let me stop be yabbering about everything else and let me get into the reason we all came here let's get into the story time the only really way i feel like i can start this story this guy i am going to give him a name it's also not going to be anyone who i feel like since i've had my youtube any of you guys have seen in my videos literally their identity will not be found and i swear by that we're gonna name him i'm like piece of shit we're gonna name him matt for today i want to say it was about two or three years back when i was bored and lonely one day and of course as a bored and lonely gay boy what do we do we log on to grinder i was on grinder this one day i get a message from this guy i had my face picture up on there and he also had his face picture up on there when he messaged me i knew i already like recognized him this guy used to date one of my friends not really a super close friend of mine a fellow like gay in the community i think i had matched with him previously on tinder younger thomas was wild i'm like a lot more calm now but this was my other mutual ex-boyfriend he messaged me one day and he just hit me up and said hey what are you doing we should hang out i've seen you on instagram like you seem really cool from the very start of this this was probably the first real conversation i had had with this guy ever in my life and so him just coming off very strong on me he was very pushy to say the least and at first it was like just small talk but then oh come over come over like let's hang out really want to get to know you i swear i was a dumb bitch for kind of just falling into that and just being like okay like oh my god he wants to get to know me okay i'm not going to discredit him there because we were together for i want to say about three months which after i tell you guys more into this story you guys are probably going to be like thomas like well, why were you there for three whole ass months i don't know how he did it but he ended up convincing me that i should come sleep over at his house the more details as i'm talking about it my memories are being triggered okay this guy is like honestly my age too so i'm not really thinking like oh he's gonna be like a whole ass crackhead because like honestly that's where the story is gonna end up going it gets a little deeper though so i end up going to his place and we just smoke obviously i'm getting to know him and stuff i was vibing i can't even lie on a side note i'm like a really heavy sleeper just keep that in mind we watched like some Netflix nothing like too crazy even happened. He was very respectful at the beginning We honestly were just cuddling and we went to bed. It's like 6 a.m. Very early in the morning I had driven my car there the night prior and I wake up I kid you guys the fuck not his mom is laying down in the bed with us Like there's like three of us in the bed and thankfully I was not sleeping on like the outer portion of the bed because then I would have ended up in the middle so I was sleeping against the wall and he was on this side and when we woke up there was a third person in the bed and like at first when I woke up, I was like, no, you got me fucked up. Upon further inspection, me just looking for a second, I end up seeing that like it's a uh, older woman with like long hair. I figured it was gonna be his mom because he was asleep too. Woke him up and I was just like, um, I pointed and then he told me that's my mom. After that, I remember we got up and we went outside and we smoked. I was on my merry way home. Honestly, I had a pretty jolly good night. After that, I thought he was pretty cool besides his mom obviously like sleeping in the bed with us at night saying that out loud that's like kind of like really just like not the move if we start fast forwarding i want to say over the next couple weeks nothing very red flagish happened besides the fact that like he was asking to hang out with me like every day when someone shows good interest like that of course i like gave him the time to be in my life. I end up meeting one of his mutual friends and he ends up meeting one of my mutual friends. We all just kind of merge into like this friend group of just like us four, him and I, and then two of our girlies. Over the next couple weeks, we all would like hang out during the days. We'd go and do stuff like when I wouldn't be at work, going on like little excursions with each other, like genuinely enjoying our time. About three weeks into him and I talking, he ends up, um, I don't really know. Well, 
basically the only way I could tell you guys this next part is if I say this. He ended up getting kicked out of his house, which of course all the sympathy is there for you, but because of things that happen later on in the story, I kind of just feel like that's what would happen in anyone's situation, is they would get kicked out for doing this action. He ends up getting a van from his grandma. It was just like your normal soccer mom van. With that being said, it was a van, so there is a lot of space in a van. For some time after he got that van, he would pick us up and then we would really be going on excursions, go to parties, we'd go to the club. Oh, I should also say he does drag. This boy, I just have to come flat right out and say Say it. I ended up sleeping in his van with him like so many times literally like more times than I can even remember because he honestly didn't want to be alone and he would just convince me like oh like we could go sleep over the first time you know I said yeah like cuz it actually sounded kind of fun like sleeping in a van for a night since I was still living with my family at this point like a night to like just get away and like sleep away from my family home was really nice I ended up agreeing one night and we went and we parked at the beach we slept in his van <laughs> I was here for it. Waking up and then like going outside, fill my water bottle at like water filling stations and then having like the whole beach there at sunrise. It was honestly like a vibe. The first time I had a very good impression of sleeping in a van. This goes on for the duration of like the entire time I was with him. I'm like telling you guys like during those three months, him and I were sleeping in a van and his friend too, this other girl who was like his like butt buddy, she would sleep in the van too sometimes. I haven't revisited this moment in a fucking minute. Reacting to my past that I blocked out of my memory. I also forgot to mention, he never got a job. Over those three months, we never very specifically like specified that like we were ever like boyfriends. So it never got to like a whole relationship, but honestly it felt like a whole ass relationship because we were dating for so long, spending so much time together. He was just a very manipulative, a very toxic individual. It was going downhill. Like I said, he didn't have a job. He always would have money. So like after a while I asked him like, hey, like where are you getting this money from? And then he proceeds to tell me he had as a sugar daddy. I am not one to shame someone for having a sugar daddy. That is not me and that is not what I am saying. I am just saying, if I am dating you and you withhold this information from me for a long ass time, honestly, I was like salty about it and I think like anyone would be salty about that. My dumb ass was like, oh, it's okay. Like if you like do it like just for money. He was never like gone with him for a long time. That was when I was working like fucking forever 21 in a mall, barely getting any hours. And I'm just thinking like he was always with me before work and afterward because I would be in his <laughs> sleeping in his van so much. Ew. He never like took time away from like me to go do that. I don't know what I was doing. So Matt ends up telling me he has a sugar daddy, right? And so I'm like, okay, that's fine. Things go on. And as things went on and more problems started arising, it ended up getting to social media. This was on like my old, old Twitter. This boy would take to Twitter and beef with me. He would like subtweet the fuck out of me. This was all just like, what the fuck? Why are you publicly beefing with me on the internet? Like that is just not like a good look for you. It's just fucking annoying. That has been like a reoccurring thing of me. I used to throw subtweets around like every other like three tweets in high school. So even after high school, I would occasionally do it. That's just me and my feelings. I think we all like do that sometimes. Basically the relationship is just going to shit. This is just has been some of the highlights of like where everything has gone wrong. Have you ever slept in someone's van too? Leave a comment down below. There was this one specific night and this night will forever be etched into my memory. This night all started when him and I and then our two girlies, we all decided that we wanted to go to some random house show that we saw a flyer for on Instagram. You know, one of those. It was like more of a punky show. We end up going to this house show and on the way there he had not told me once like at all like oh hey I don't have money to get into the show. The show costed four dollars. I'ma just say that now. The show costed four dollars. We end up getting to this house show and as we all go to walk up, right when we end up getting to the house show, I forgot to mention his friend had brought her Tinder date. <laughs> the Tinder date was gonna pay for his friend and then my friend and I each had our own money. We all get to the door and my friend and I end up being the first ones to walk into this function along with his friend in the Tinder date. So we get in and then I notice right away that he's not in there. I just give it a minute because I'm like, oh, he's probably like figuring something out. Because at this point he hadn't told me he had not brought money. I didn't really think that would have been an issue. It's about like 10 minutes. I try texting him. I try calling him like no response. I go out to the car and I say to him like, oh, hey, why didn't you go in? And he told me he had no money. I 
said, oh, okay, why didn't you tell me before? My friend and I can go work something out at the door. Maybe we could go like finesse the door guy a bit and like try to talk him into it. We go and try to talk him into like letting him in with like my entry fee too. So like it would be split and that we would like post like the flyer on Instagram or something, just trying to work out like some social media promo when I had like 1K. He just ended up like never getting the show because the finesse never worked. I go into the party and I text him, but he had told me prior that he had no problem waiting in the car if we just wanted to go in and enjoy our time. We're all enjoying ourselves for like only 45 minutes, which is like, I mean a long time, but really it's not that long. That's not even an hour. After like 45 minutes, I feel bad because I'm like, okay, I'm having fun, but he's probably not having fun too. So my kind hearted ass goes out to the van with my friend. We'll dip from this function. We'll just go hang out with him. We could go do something else. So we go out to his van. His van is not there. Bitch, I was fuming. I had his location. So like, I don't know why he left it on. His location says that it's in Signal Hill, which in Long Beach, there's like a little smaller city called Signal Hill. It's, it's pretty bougie. That's where like nice houses are. So I call him, he doesn't answer my call. My friend calls him, doesn't answer his call. His friend calls him, he answers the call. Basically, I'm guessing what he told her was to like divert the situation. He said he was coming right back because I said, I'm gonna just Uber home. Like, honestly, fuck you. I don't know how his friend ends up convincing me not to order an Uber and that he'll come and pick us up. He must have not been gone much longer than like more than 45 minutes. Like, so he must have dipped like right after we went back inside. He ended up coming back with the van, but as he drove the van up, he literally almost hit his friend because he came up speeding so quick. Right when he sped up to her and she said, you almost hit me, like, get out, I'm gonna drive. She was pissed. He hops into the car and is just like blasting music. And I'm with my friend, mad as fuck in the back seat. We're just like, why is he like so like happy right now? He's jumping around, dancing to the music. He just has all this energy. You act like you didn't just fucking leave the guy you're dating and all your friends at the house show, he was just acting really weird. So I'm in the back of the car. I sit in the very back of the van because I'm just, I'm with my friend and we're just like pissed. I'm saying like, just take me the fuck home. Like just take us home, like don't talk to us. On the way home, I'm ignoring the fuck out of him. Like whenever he speaks to me, like I'll literally just sit there and I'll be like, he ends up like telling his friend who's driving, pull over somewhere, I need to pee. They end up pulling into a neighborhood closer to my house. We all get out of the car to go pee. Another little small fucking detail that will make this situation just a little more laughable. They ended up pulling over at my old middle school. And as I'm trying to get out of the car, just reminding you he's been acting weird. I think something is off, I just sense it. He like gets up in front of me. And mind you, okay, I should mention right now, he's taller than me, he's like bigger than me. Bitch, you ain't that much bigger than me. So I said, move the fuck out of my way. Thomas we please talk blah, blah blah he just would not move out of my way so i was like you want to talk to me so fucking bad and we walked over and this boy gets on his knees and begs me for forgiveness and like let me tell you manipulative ass behavior so he's literally begging on his knees in front of me which i'm not even gonna lie i kind of enjoyed you want my forgiveness so bad like do it. I just asked him, I'm like, can you tell me something? I want you to be like 100% completely honest. And so I asked him, did you do any drugs tonight? Because you're acting really weird and you've been acting really weird ever since you picked us back up from the house show. And he said, yes. I said, what drugs did you do? And he tells me, meth. Boy, if you didn't just, one, trigger the fuck out of me, two, just really fucking admit that, like, ew, I was so disgusted, I literally, like, said not one fucking word, turned, and walked my ass home. I didn't end things there, because he ended up telling me later, the next day, that it was just a mistake, like, a relapse, you have a responsibility to yourself, and he just was like, it was really bad, like, I've had this problem, but being with you, it's made it better. Just really, like, guilt tripping me into, like, not dropping him, because he's gonna change and he's like not gonna do it anymore i end up forgiving him so the next day i'm back sleeping in that van from there on out after he left me and all of his friends at a party to go do meth at that point when i asked him what house he went to he told me his sugar daddy's i'm petrified the relationship didn't last one week longer than that it got even messier when he told me he was going to chicago with his sugar daddy and he didn't even tell me till literally the night before oh yeah by the way i'm going to chicago in the morning and i was like what do you mean you're going to chicago and he was like with my sugar daddy he ended up asking me if i could drive his van there i drove him in his van to lax and he literally like got his suitcase and went on a trip with a sugar daddy and after that it was his best friend and i in the car and we drove back home and I had a conversation with her and I told her that is the last time you are 
ever going to see me ever hanging out with that boy. That shit is so whack. I ended up telling her everything because honestly, she made it seem like her and I were besties too and I could like confide in her. As this whole ass story time just seems to keep going, things just get even messier. She ends up, everything she told me I could tell her and that she wouldn't tell him about how I feel about him. She tells him all of it, which I don't care because she kind of did the job for me. He didn't text me until maybe like two days into his trip and was like, hi, how are you? And I was like, you know, what? actually, I don't ever want to talk to you again. After that, again, he beefed with me on Twitter and that was honestly the last connection I had with him. If you're gonna do that to me in my life, you don't deserve to be in my life. Then I cut him off, literally 100%. And like to this day, I like still have him blocked. He's tried contacting me here and there. It, it's been a cool last minute since he has. Never again do I think I ever wanna associate myself with this man. Matt, if you end up seeing this video, I'm sorry that I had to make it, but you made one damn hell of a good story time. That's pretty much the highlights of all like the whack ass things that happened during that point in my lifetime. So I think I'm gonna end up wrapping up the story time here. But if you guys enjoyed the story time, then of course, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I have been making a lot of content on OnlyFans. So that is going to be linked in my description along with all my other socials. They're gonna be in that little link tree link. Thank you guys so much. If you made it this far into the story time, I really appreciate it. And of course I would love if you would stick around so again go subscribe down below i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day xoxo lb twink mm -hmm.